did you have dreams of possibly swimming in America? Like when Steve Altman approached you on the deck, was this like a dream come true for you? It, it was actually not at the moment because I didn't knew what I was saying no to. I actually told him no at the beginning. You oh, know, wow. like I, I, I was um, in the state of Mexico where I'm from, we're very family oriented. You mm -hmm. know, like I, I'm an only child. So I was like, stick to my mom like my mom didn't leave me any time of the day unless I was swimming or in school mm -hmm. so when he came to recruit me I was like I have to leave home like that that was something really tough for me uh I took the recruiting trip and that was a change in my life when I actually saw the pool the the 50 meter pool when I saw that they gave chocolate milk after practice it was that chocolate milk that totally took me took my attention, took my, I was like, wow, you get chocolate milk and you also get free dinner? Like, are you <laughs> kidding me? And it was like steak, you know, like in Mexico, I always, uh, when I was home, I, I usually ate like chicken soup for dinner. I mean, I don't say, like right now we're supported, you know, like mm -hmm. like Mexico has helped us to, to reach this goal and we've had support. But when I was a child and when I was growing up and all the way until I left Texas a and and even my first part in Texas a and I had zero for like, it was, it was almost none. It was really hard. Like my parents come from a, a like we, we're a working family, you know, like sure. a middle income family for Mexico, which is, I mean, the minimum, to put it in, in, in words, the minimum wage in Mexico is like $3, $3.50. I mean, it, no, no person in the U.S. can live with that, you know, like yeah. In Mexico, it's really tough to do a sport uh, as as a hobby almost because when you're a child, you you either are really good in the nationals, where are the Olimpiada Nacional, to get a support, to get a stipend, to get a monthly payment, or you'll soon have to pick between you go to school and you try to live from work, or you keep swimming and you get poor. So it's it's. It's been really hard, um, the athlete life, you know? And now, now um, we have a different life. Now I'm having help, I'm having uh, that push, you know, from the, from the Ministry of Sports, like we've been helped. And, and this has really, to me, pushed me to try to, to reach for more, to keep learning. Yes, you're right. And, uh... It's amazing to see how far you've come, really. It's an incredible story, and it's one of inspiration. Um, I think that you're a role model for a lot of young uh, women in, in Mexico, for sure, but also athletes. You know, you're just, uh, you persevere, and I love that about you, and, and you don't, you fight the odds, you know, you beat the odds, and, and that's a great, great story for life, you know. What about this dream that you, you start to talk to your parents about, you know, possibly going to America and pursuing this dream? Is this, you're, you're an only child. Is this, uh, was this yeah. difficult for them to understand and, and let you go? Yeah, my mom said no. <laughs> my mom said, you cannot go. You're not ready. You're going to die. You don't know how to hit water up. You, I, I never used an alarm in Mexico. You know, I didn't know how to wake up on my own. She was like, you're going to get kicked out in the first month. Don't even try. <laughs> like, she was like, look for a university in Mexico. Even if you want to go north to, to Monterey, which is uh, the Monterey Tech, it's a... Uh, it's very well known for good education and they also kind of support uh, sports. So that was like my dream when I was little to go to the Monterey Tech. But, um, but my mom said like, there's no way. And my dad say like, go, go. Like, this is something we will never be able to give you. This is a future that I'm not going to be able to give you. And when, when your father say that to you, you know, when, when the man that has worked his whole life that I, almost done seeing the day because he has been working the entire day and then he suddenly says go like I don't want you here I want you to go because that's the best opportunity you will get and then your mom says you cannot go it, it was like a tough decision mm -hmm. you know but mm -hmm. 
my dad said, I'll do the whole process with you. He took me for my visa. He took me to the airport for my recruiting trip and everything. And the entire time, my mom was with a big face, like, who are you? Doing? You know, like, she was there the whole time, but she was really mad. And I believe they don't talk to each other for, like, months for this thing, you know? I almost caused a divorce in the family. But, you know, what? four years after, when my mom and my dad didn't have a passport, they, my mom now has a passport. My dad has never had a passport. He never went to visit me to the U.S., but my mom did when I graduated from my undergrad. She got her passport for that. And when she got there and she saw me with my hat, with my super nice like uh, dressing of graduation and she saw the degree, she was like, you know what? Thank God your dad said yes, because I don't regret this. You've become the swimmer you want to be. You've become the student you want to be and the person I never think you were going to become if you stayed with me. So after my mom was like, you had to do that. But in the moment, you know, like, I don't think she talked to me for the first weeks. And then after that, we were all crying the phone, like, I miss you, I miss you. But but at the beginning, it was really tough. It was really tough. I love that story. It's, it's pure. It's real.